Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make your own customized pen boxes for your glitter pens. And this is using my cut file in my Etsy and the link is in the description so you can grab your own and get started. Um, so I'm in Silhouette Studio. I will show you guys how to do this in Design Space also. Um, I don't have my, sorry, I don't have my machine hooked up. So the instructions that I'm going to tell you for the Cricut are kind of in theory, but um, based on what my other customers have said, this is what you should do in order to get it to work. So let me know if I'm completely off base <laughs> with my instructions and I'll amend it. Um, but so for Silhouette Studio, I'm going to open the scoring um, file because your Cameo can score without a score blade, which is pretty cool. Um, and the dimensions are already correct for Silhouette Studio, so you don't have to do anything there. Now you get two options. You get a box without a window and a box with a window. And I don't want to do the box without a window, so I'm just going to delete it. And now we are ready to customize it already. Boom, we're there. Um, so if you don't know how to pattern fill, you're going to go over here to your little color swatch. And then um, if you just wanted it like one color, you just, you know, can do that. Or you can do gradient. It's really just, you know, whatever you want. But your patterns are over here. And Cameo has some default ones. But you can also use imported ones, which is what I do. Um, and I like to make my boxes match the pens that I used because normally the pen wraps are from a pattern and I already have the pattern. So I just make it match to be super cute. But you can do whatever you want. Um, we can do something simple like polka dots. So you see you go into advanced and then you can mess around with the pattern. And um, real fast, if you're not sure how to get patterns in the Silhouette Studio, you go to Library, and then scroll down to your Pattern folder, and then here you can just drag and drop images that you found that are hopefully seamless, and that will give you a pattern. They don't have to be seamless though, and they don't even have to be square, like these ones aren't seamless or square. You can just mess with the aspect or mess with the scale to get it to fill what you're trying to do. So. That is pattern. Now I'm going to add my logo. So hopefully you already have a logo. Um, hopefully I can find my logo. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So I'm just dragging and dropping. And oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Resize it. I want it at the top of the box. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So right here, so these blue lines, if you want to, just for the purpose of seeing the stuff, if you want to make them a little thicker while you're working so that you can see your lines better, um, do that. Now real fast for print and cut, you want to make sure your lines are zero because your printer will print any line that is not set to zero. So. I saved this as zero, but for some reason, when you open this SVG, it's going to default it to 0.28. So you have to remember to change that if you don't want the lines to show. Um, and be careful not to bump this because it isn't grouped so that you can um, fill it. Sorry, <laughs> I had a brain fart there. Okay, so we have logo and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Right there is good. And then this is your little window. Now, if you want to change your window size to maybe you wanna make it bigger, I'm just gonna copy and paste a new thing right here to show you. You will go to release compound path, send that to the back. Why didn't I do it? Never mind. Let me undo. I'll try that again. Come on. There it is. Um, is it just grouped? Pretty sure I made this compound path. But why is it disappearing when I do that? Okay, scratch that. Um, 
I'll show you that in another video because I can't remember how to do that right now. Um, so if you want to add another shape to your box, like let's say you want to have a cute heart, um, you go over here to your shapes, make your little heart, and then just drag it over and your machine will cut that out. So you can just do like, you can just do like a circle or like a star, or maybe your um, pen is paw print theme. So you want to have a paw print cut out or something. I mean, the world is your oyster for that. <laughs> it's going to be whatever you want to do. Let's see, is this going to do it? Okay, so that... Yeah, you don't have to do that. That was just me messing around. So this will cut it out. You're still, when you print, it'll print in there, but then your machine will cut right there. So don't worry about what I just did. That was advanced. <laughs> um, so we got a little shape. We got that. And now maybe we want to add some instructions, like don't throw me away. I was going to say, don't delete me. <laughs> I've been at my computer too long. So I'm just going to, that's not black, that's purple. I'm just going to pick some font. That's cute. Um, maybe I'll do red since my polka dots are black. So you're going to want to, you know, design this around your shape so this is the back the little notch right here is the back and then these are the sides and this is the front so if you want to put this so that it's on the back you can do that and see how that's kind of hard to read so like if i was designing this for real i would create an offset really fast of like 0 0.025 apply group and I'm probably going like way too fast for some of you, but just, you'll have to figure out how to do this on your own. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cute. And then it's more readable. And you can put other things on there. You can put your, um, what's it called? Your QR code you can throw that on there. You can do, I mean, I don't have to tell you. You know all of the things you can do. You can write stuff so that it shows up on every single thing. Now, you might want to do it this way. It's the old, the age old question of which way do people read. Probably should do that. I think the other way would be kind of like upside down. Then you can make that a little smaller, kind of lined up a little. Okay, I don't want to be too crazy because you can figure this out on your own. Just make sure that your cut lines are not touching, or your little design is not touching the lines at all, your words. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so, you know, you get it all done, and you can fit two of these on a page if you're doing just a regular 8 by 11 Eight and a half by eleven. You can, you know, space them out, squish them in, whatever. Now remember to change your lines for your logo. Anything you import, get rid of lines. Get rid of red lines, I should say. And then for your blue ones. You want to make those go back to zero and then you want to make sure your cut lines are zero and they are okay so now you would make sure your heart's zero yeah so then you go to file print nope nope i'm getting ahead of myself you will go over here to your registration marks because you're doing print and cut make sure these fit within those boundaries and i always have mine the thickest and kind of like that, just so that my machine will read it. Um, and I like to put the barcode on there because I've had 
a lot better success with the barcode, but I think you can only do that on the Cameo 3 and up, so you might not have that option for the other models, but that's fine. Um, so make sure that is all on. Make sure your print bleed is off, otherwise you'll get some nasty looking stuff. And then you would just go to File Print. Make sure your printer is not set to your label printer and something good. And I'm not actually going to print this, so you know how to print stuff from your thing. So once it's printed, you'll throw it into your machine on your mat. You'll go to send, and you're going to go by line. Sorry, that was an Etsy chiching. <laughs> you're going to go by line, and then you're going to make sure everything is set to cardstock. And on the blue one, you're going to go down and hit score. And then any other lines you made for words or whatever, you're going to make sure those are unchecked because you do not want to cut those words out. So as you can see, all of the red stuff, like the heart and the box, will be cut out. And everything that's blue will be scored. Now there is one last thing you have to do. So when you go to the blue one on score, you're going to change the force to 1 and the speed to 10. If you don't do this, it's going to cut your score lines normally, even though you put it to score. So make sure you change that. And then you'll hit send, and then it should only take like a minute and a half maybe to cut this because the score makes it super easy and super quick. And then you will just have to put your box together. I like to use skinny double-sided tape, and I put it on this tab right here. And then I fold the box together, and then you just, you know, fold everything up. And then you're good to go. And I like to tape the bottom as well, just because when you're dropping the pen in there, it can open it and then it can like fall through. So that is for Silhouette Studio. Um, if you are not a Cameo user, then you can stop watching now. So <laughs> thanks for watching that. Now for my Cricut users, this one is already done. Um, Oh wait, let me go in here. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but hold on one second. I have to get the sizing document right. Okay, so this is the correct sizing for the box. Now, like I said, this should be set already in Silhouette Studio, but for some reason Design Space imports it to something random. So I'm going to change it. And you want to make sure that's unlocked so that you can change both things without it trying to mess it up. So this is what it looked like when I, you know, customized it. But we'll go to a fresh thing. So we'll go to my new pen box and we're going to do scoring. And there it is in all its glory. I'm going to go to upload. I'm going to go to insert because we'll just leave it there. Now this gives you both styles, because remember this one has no window and this one has the window. And we just want to use the window, so we're going to ungroup, select that one, just delete it. Now for here, for this blue, you want to go over to Operation and go to Score, and that'll make everything actually show up. And then we want to make sure this is size, so it's 2.811. I'll do that by 8.377. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I did it. And now if you don't want to customize your box or anything, you just send that and it'll cut and score. Um, sorry, my daughter just woke up. Let me pause this and I will be back. Okay, I am back, and I have my daughter in my lap right now, so if you hear random, a random small little voice, that is her. <laughs> um, so let's see if she'll let me finish this. So this is what we have when we've imported it. Um, now, if you want to just send it like that, I already said this, you're good to go. If you want to customize it, bump it. Uh, you're going to select it, change this to print and cut. She bumped me. <laughs> Change it to print and cut so that it looks like that. And then you'll hit this little color box right here. 
and instead of color, you'll go to pattern, and this is where you can play with all of your patterns that you've uploaded. Um, oh, red. Yeah, red. Um, you can upload patterns by going to upload and then upload pattern, and then it'll show up there. Yeah, blue. Um, Green. Where was I just at? Green. Hold on one second. Okay, my bad. <laughs> so that is how you get your patterns to show up right there. So we'll just do another polka dot one. Um, this one, I did a shape so that it will cut that out right there. I did another heart. Um, but Big. you don't have to do that Big. if you don't want to. But pink. if you want to add your, yeah, pink. She's got stuff in front of her that's different colors, so she's telling me about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you want to add your logo, you'd go to your uploads, <laughs> and then you can insert it. Mommy, brother. Yeah. See. And then just place it where you want. And then you would want to select that and make sure that's print and cut, and it is. <laughs> yeah, coat thing. Here, take this. And then you will select that and your box and go to flatten. I think you can also just right click. Wait. Sorry, this does this. So you want to make sure that. Oh, yeah, this is so silly. Okay, so you have to like select this in the right order. So I believe you select the box first and then you select everything else that you want to flatten in order for it to actually flatten and show it on top. Because if you don't, then it'll go to the back like what I just did. So you can add your stuff. And then if you want to do some text and type it in, you can do that and just make sure you flatten it again so that it is not going to print. And then when you're ready to send everything to your machine, you would right click and attach and then you would make it and see how this one shows the scoring lines and this one doesn't because I hadn't changed those ones over. So it will print like this. Then you would send your machine or send it to your machine and then it would cut and then it would score just those. So it should leave your logo completely alone and not try to cut it out like a lot of people have issues with. Um, and if you do not have the scoring tool, you would just use the pen box cutting file. And then I have it set to where it is dashes. So it will cut those dashes. And then, you know, it makes it like a perforation kind of. And then you can fold it on that. So that one takes a lot longer to do. But if, you know... If you don't have the tool, then you don't have much choice. <laughs> you have to do that one. Or you can always fold it by hand, but that probably maybe would take longer than the machine cutting it. I don't know. So that should be it. Now, that was all in theory based on what my customers have told me. So hopefully that works for you guys. And if not, let me know and we will try to troubleshoot it because I know a few people have had issues with this. Um, but that is it, and I hope you learned how to do something today. <laughs> Thanks for watching.